Okay. Hi, and uh, welcome to episode four of this live coding experience. So it's with me, Malcolm Sparks, again, and we have uh, our regular guest, Jeremy Taylor. Hi, Jeremy. How are you? I'm well, Malcolm. Thank you. Very good. So you? We are. Um, you join us a bit of a cliffhanger yesterday. We ended up with a, a list of our cards, and what we're going to try and do today is be able to navigate to individual cards and click on them. And that, I know Jeremy's been keen to be able to do that. But we also want to add a, a status to each of these cards, cards we eventually want to put them on a Kanban board. So I'm just going to have a look at this code here on the left, which is generating this code on the right, this, this HTML. Uh, so first of all, we'll kind of give it a nice fancy title. So I'll put some, um, uh, I'll make that. Large. I'm using um, uh, using the uh, tailwind at the moment, so we put this here. Okay, and we'll give it some nice uh, padding. Uh, some padding there, and now we can um, go into the main table. So let's just give it a little bit these. Uh, these a little bit of padding here. Okay. Well, we were only using, we we're sort of using Tailwind here, just to give us um, a bit of styling, and we can go through at the end and just uh, refactor the CSS. But this Tailwind gives us quite a lot of flexibility as we're developing. Um, so what we really want is to pull out the when we click on individual uh, elements, we want to click into the card. So I'm just going to make it look like a, um, the title. I'm going to rip out that ID and make the title kind of look like a hyperlink that we can click. So I'll do that with uh, yellow. I'll give it some yellow there. Okay, looks like we can click on these now. And um, we will um, put a click click. Click list map. On click, there we have a, a function. And here we're going to just print out the ID of the thing that's been click on ID. Okay, there we are clicking on that one. Well, that's good, that's the one that we want to click on. And how we navigate in Reframe is that we're going to, in our, in our system, we've got a navigate event that we can fire. Uh, if we look at our nav table, the event we want to target, the route we want to target is called uh, card, and we need to give it a parameter of card. This is a double colon, which means it's actually in this, this namespace, um, so we have to prefix it with, with nav. Let me show you that. We can say, okay, we're going to dispatch to the navigate event. We're going to, there's the, the route that we want to navigate to, and here's the parameter. Um, in this case, we only want to navigate the, this, this parameter is just this last section of the card. The card, I suppose it's more like the, um, you know, this card segment, but anyway, here we have the last split on the screen. That should be that should be enough. Uh, let's just save it and click on these ones. And that's working. Okay. Now uh, I when I wrote this little thought that I had, um, and please ignore the thought, but it was just something I, I wanted to jot in. I put it in and I, I wasn't able to find it again because we didn't have a list of cards, so quite quite glad to see this all come back. Um, and it seems to work. So, very good. Although we are seeing some things, some cards here that, that don't have a title. So, uh, I think we'll just have to reveal that with a, a no title or something. So, where we actually print out the title, we'll say either the title or no title. Oh, uh, do you want to print out the ID in that case? Yeah, I think we should. 
Um, but I don't know what's in there actually. Maybe it's not the the title. Maybe they are, or maybe it is is blank. We can we can say if uh, not a blank title. I'll try that. Otherwise, um, maybe it's this. no. Uh, oh, because. Yeah, okay, we've got our no title. So those titles must have been blank. Um, I'm not sure why they are. Well, I suppose when we create a new card, Jeremy, or mm, does empty hurt. string, yeah. But perhaps it is an empty string, so. Yeah. Okay. And so. But we can click on those and see what it, what it kind of looks like. And I, I do remember we put lots of blank cards in the system, or at least I did. I was a bit uh, trigger happy. So we might, and this one is obviously a bit of a random random one. So it probably would be quite nice to be able to delete uh, a card um, and perhaps even using this um, this list just to just to do a bit of card hygiene. Um, should we commit? We should. Um, so yeah, yeah. No. Was, uh, it's worth tidying up the formatting on that line you just wrote but yeah. Oh uh, on this this line here yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, like to close yeah. up our brackets. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'll say we've now added a table of cards. Uh, okay. so, so I missed the bit where you um, wrote the query to enumerate the cards, but was that just a sort of very simple query? Yes. And if you have a thousand cards, it will pull all 1,000 down. Yes, it was. Thank you uh, we, we, we did actually have uh, some of the cards have a, have a request associated with them, not all of them. Um, mm. But that reveals the original creator of the card. Uh, but we do have some date, old cards in the database that don't have that. Uh, so that's a complicating factor. So, yeah, I think we took, we took out that constraint because we just didn't, well, there weren't that many recent cards. But we can put it back. Um, but that's that's why I've commented it there. That was it, really. Um, that was the only only thing that we needed. Was the, we said that it had to have content and it had to have a title um, in order to mm -hmm. be a really, you know, high level card. Um, I think if we relax that constraint, we'll get a whole load of um, we would have a load of like anything with content, uh, which might be useful. But um, I guess. By forcing that constraint, we're only going to get the top level stuff. We don't want the individual paragraphs. So I think that's more or less OK. Um, we're still getting get cake. I think the tasks actually have have titles, whether they should or not. I don't know. Actually, we've got a, a little error there, have we? Yeah. And we do have this React complaint here about mm. the uh, charts in the list, but we could fix that uh, easily by just using the ID as the, as the key. We might want to do that. Uh, so I guess it's complaining about this one. So we'll put in a little some metadata for the ID. Uh, so uh, there is definitely a problem there, but I'm not going to worry about Oh, uh, yes, we can't render individual things at the moment, like um, individual tasks. And tasks actually do have a title. So, yeah, I think it's, you know, I, I, I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm made my peace with the fact the code isn't perfect. I've made my peace with the fact the data in the database isn't perfect either. And, uh, you know, it, it will will muddy a lot, muddle along until you know we, we've improved things. But we could start getting rid of some of the old data. Okay. Um, so now we've committed Jeremy, how what would you like to do next? Good question. Uh, so so you just said um, that some of these links are to um, did you say not not paragraphs? Yeah, par uh, 
Yeah, they're yeah, paragraphs. Yeah. Paragraph. Well, they're to task because, because tasks have oh, to task, 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 task. Right. Yeah. Okay. So is that, is that is that an act, an active flaw in the data model that we should think about, or is that yeah. um, because of the legacy? Hmm. I think it is a. Uh, we we could have a look at when we create a new. Uh, new card. We we could delete some of these cards and then look at the the ones that are left. Um, but the I think in the yeah you know, what's happening here if I say this is an action. Um, and then we make that an action, and then we can click it or not. If we just have a look at what that looks like in the database, and whether it has a title or not, because I believe that that was an old thing. And then what we could do is just do a, a, a mass cal of all of the the old tasks. Mm -hmm. um, but let's just have a quick look at that in the database. So we can ask. Yeah. Oops. Yes, no, no title. Yeah, no title. So, so um, in which case, it's probably fine to leave the old ones in there, although we can delete them. Um, but maybe put a guard in there because this, this probably won't be the only. This, this won't be the last time we try and render something that doesn't like have a title. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, the reason why. I mean, we don't have the way of rendering. If we say task 1A, yeah, we just don't have, we've never really thought about what it means to render a paragraph, individual paragraph. Um, and, and therefore, I think we're making an assumption that the content does have a, a, a list of references rather than can have anything else. And therefore, that's what, that's the errors that we're getting. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to just choose to, it would be nice to have a delete. Um, although our new dial, oh yeah, okay, our new thing does work. Well, you know, uh, this the ability to create a new card. Uh, we do seem to be having some network failures, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It definitely seems to be uh, saving. Um, Although it does seem to be, it doesn't seem to be complaining in the network tab. Um, hmm. If I refresh, you refresh the page. Is it? Yeah. Oh, and it's oh, see, it might be. Yeah, when we go click on new. Oh, I see. So when we click on new, the actual URL isn't changing. Okay, so that's something to fix. Yeah, Let's nice fix that. Yeah, that might be the reason. Um, okay. So let's. Yeah, let's fix that first. So the ability so the to create new cards. Uh, <coughs> at what point is the ID generated then? Yeah. <coughs> um, uh, yes, that's right. Let's let's trace it from when we click on the new button. So the new button is created here. Oh, well, this is the new button. And then, then we uh, oh we just dispatch a thing that says new card uh, generates a new card and then well, let's have a look at that uh, so what that would do is associate the current card so it switches the current card Okay. Um, so all it actually has to do is dispatch the root change as well. Yeah. And it should just work. It should it should work. Yeah, we should try that. And then there is a there is a question about whether this current card ought to exist anyway because it should all always be derived from from the root the, from the URL. Um, yeah. Okay, so maybe we need to deprecate current card. Yeah. Before we solve this. I'll put a to do there. Let's do let's deprecate current card uh, and replace by current root. And see, does the does the root contain the the card? Okay. 
Um, okay. So let's dispatch and navigate to a nav card. And now the card is going to be the, uh, in this case, the new card ID. This trust but last. Yeah, well, it's actually this this guy, isn't it? This this um, this we'll call that. This oh guy. yeah, yeah. It does feel that we've got a bit of technical debt emerging. But we'll solve them. Here we are. Right, that worked. But I wonder why yep. all these are green. It appears that the puts don't work, whereas they sort of do work. I would imagine, though, that we've got this mark optimistic going on. Um, if you edit the boxes, do they turn? Oh, yeah, if I ed edit the boxes. Let's try. No, then they go red, which is huh. clearly not what we want. So, but it appears that the network is working, so it's just a problem in the UI. Um, if I put a new element there, it appears um, what could happen to just have just confirm our suspicion that the databases got the right value in. Um, how would we do it? We, well, we could load it up from the, from the UI again. And yeah, that's kind of worked. So there's something going on. And is it letting us edit these now if we change them? Ah. Well, it goes red. Okay, so I think this. Have we messed something? Can you go? Can, can you go back to one of the existing cars, the like original cars? Can we edit those and do they yeah. still work? Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. So what's different? Uh, yeah. So yes. Yeah, so what is different? Um, do you refresh the page? So it should be. I refresh the page that will work. Oh. And that's saying. Uh, oh, is it never getting not marked as optimistic, perhaps? No. Maybe optimistic is getting saved to the database. I'm just wondering if that's possible. Right, when you. We could have a look and see if this has been marked as optimistic. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, because we didn't see how you changed all the yeah, mucking around with that yesterday. Yeah, optimistic, true. Optimistic has gone on, gone into the database. I think we had some. Oh, yeah. But so somehow, somehow it has gone, gone into the database. Um, hmm. I wonder if it let's let's um, hmm. Well, I guess let's fix the, the easily, um, that this bug is easy to replicate because we can see the green here. And if we look at the, um, we can replicate this bug just by clicking new each time. Oops. Ah.
in the end. So that doesn't have optimistic in, which is sort of encouraging. That this one in here doesn't have optimistic in either. But something in saving it about this code. Um, we click on new. It's new save. New is saved. That's good. So when we click on new card, these things are marked as op optimistic. The card then gets saved with good entity. And I saved succeeded message. Mm. Yeah, so the change you made yesterday changed these lines. Yeah, it says on success, but we're not actually getting that's why, yeah. Oh, is it supposed to be um, Like the code you replaced had like arc dispatch mark save succeeded, but here it's on success as a I guess a co effect. Yeah, that's it. It's a well on um, no, on success is then in this poke request. Um, it, it merges is it and call calls this. Uh, oh, has this one here? Yeah. Ah, so it's as on failure case, it doesn't have the on success case. Though. Well, the on success, is because it's merged with the, the second argument. Um, oh, okay. The, you, you always want to have a default on failure, but you don't have a default on success. Yeah, I, I, I guess we could. Be working. Unless it doesn't consider 201 to be a successful case huh. and only considers 204 to be a successful case. But that. But let's. We would know that by if we go back to the original card. So if we, and this looks like that would be a, if I did, if I change that, that changes, save succeeded, because in the network, that is a 204. That is extraordinary. So, but, so if I do this, that becomes a 204, click on here, I get a 201, which is 
not followed up by a save succeeded. So I do that, I get a save succeeded. I click on that, I get a save succeeded. Save succeeded by, uh, let's clear that out. I'm going to need to do one, but no, so that theory doesn't work. And these are all green because optimistic has been saved along these because we've sort of we should at least for now clear out that optimistic on save just in case it should just not be in there but yeah this optimistic has, has gone through so for now we, we, we could just remove just say that entity this up optimistic because that otherwise is going to or some bugs, or, or rather, I think we've got the clear, clear optimistic flag, haven't we? Oh no, I'll just put that. Uh, shouldn't be needed. Well, well. Do, do we have some sort of race condition here happening? So, like, if we, if something never gets marked as saved, and then you try and put it again, yeah, second put might work. And then include the optimistic tree. Mm. So it's almost like you, you don't want to attempt to put something that's already in flight. Maybe like if instead of trying to put entity you know, every time the debounce or whatever fires, don't do it if there's an if it's still optimistic because oh, okay. it's still, it's yeah still right off. right yeah too many things in my head at the moment but uh, yeah. Um, I'll put that as a to do. Let's avoid calling the entity when there's already one in flight. Yeah, that could. Um, yeah, I just feel like the code shouldn't be this entangled. This, this optimistic should be a very easy thing to. Uh, but if we, if we create a Go back here, get a new one. Does that did that actually work? Yeah, that seems to have worked now. Yeah, by clearing the optimistic flag out. So it still doesn't help us. Well, soldier on. That goes. We've got green. Um, this in the last two minutes. It would be nice to be able to create new cards. This is this is this seems to be failing because we're not getting our we're not getting here our save succeeded. Oh, oh, that's in this potentity, this is really strange. So if we uh, perhaps we put a little print on here, uh, putting. Put entity, and we'll put the ID there, and I'll put, mm -hmm. the, uh, put the ID here. So let's see what's going on. So if I do a new put entity, should begin with a four. Yeah, okay. Put entity, but no saved entity. 
And we should have two. We've got two two oh ones here. I don't think third. Which means the requests have come back. They're just not being processed. Yeah. So is it a ref can you see it? In the, I know you don't want to use ten x, but th does reframe even acknowledge the event that's come back? In ten x, I do have ten x. Um, uh, but I can't see the event. I don't know how to trace these events. Okay. Um, well, this is event received. In this CoFX list, is that not is that not um, list of events? Um, the, uh, the top. Oh. Uh, collapsible. Uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Received car components. Um, yeah. Although we've got something selected, haven't we? Like, um, we is received card components like the latest. I don't know how this thing works. Yeah, yeah. So, just just it'll go and get the. I, I, I don't know. It's probably worth watching a tutorial on how this UI works. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand it. No. Okay. So. Yeah, none the wise. Yeah, That's not, no uh, make a change yesterday. Yeah, I I don't know whether that why you, we should be getting this mark saved succeeded, but we're not. It's not firing. Um, it just isn't firing. Um, even though there were that we've got a two oh one. Yeah, I just w wonder whether. No, we know that it's considered. Um, Ready? Yeah. Oh, one second. Uh, one second. Recording. Uh, it's yeah. not on Switch, Twitch, right? Yeah, yeah it uh, starts streaming. So, I'll. Yeah, I guess I'm going to puzzle that out uh, next time. Um, I might move back to JS Fetch because um, I'm not confident about. Um, well, JS Fetch has the advantages that there are no layers between you and what's happening. You just look it up, you know. Um, the downside is just too many libraries going on, and I don't know whether it's a bug in the library. I um, definitely hit one the other day. Yeah. I mean, re reframe HTTP. FX right now, it's only got 200 stars. How many people are actually using it? Yeah, and it might not be that. It might be, it might be the underlying C I don't, I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, true. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's got eight open issues, and one of them is, uh, you know, people asking for passing details from the on success thing. But ba basically, it's painting a picture in my mind that, yeah, the, the more libraries you use, the further you are from being able to. To work around any sort of niggles, and we don't want to have to fork this thing. So yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Do you think chess patch did seem simpler? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, well, the, 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 there was this other reframe HTTP thing which I I was using. Oh yeah. I did this recursive lookup? Um, I can't remember what it was. H, H, uh, reframe reframe async fx flow, and I was using this. Uh, uh, and it's the same kind of like magical thing, you know, you include these FX ha handlers, but you, you really have to trust that they're bug free. Uh, and this thing has an under 55 star thing, and maybe it's like not not, uh, not something you want to couple yourself to too much. Yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, the, the idea of this library is that you can uh, fire up a whole bunch of events and it will make sure they are, they're all executed eventually. You can specify the sort of dependency graph. OK. Well, what, where's, can you just send me a link? Do you know the yeah, link? yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the Twitch. Um, oh, well, yeah, I can't see the Twitch at the moment. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it on Slack.
There we are, so we'll go over here. Okay. Oh, I see that, right. And it, 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 it works recursively, so I, I had it working so that any card that referenced any other card, it would retrieve them all, but then of course if there was a, an infinite loop, that would that'd be a bad idea. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is what the async flow, you put async flow and that allows you to do... About, oh, okay, so because JS fetch promises are essentially a, a kind of async flow. Yeah, yeah. So it's sort of like a you know blending of like you could do this obviously with your own JS fetch and core async kind of mashup, but it, this right. this abstracts it all into like a reframe FX uh, abstraction. Okay. Oh, uh, because the well, for Jar JavaScript promises that you have with JS fetch that they kind of they call each other, or at least you know after you've got one completed, you can then have another thing. This is. Yeah, because the, you know the, the second request depends on pulling out some data from the first request. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I, I don't know how how good like I don't know if you'd set out to build a system with something like this, or if this is like a workaround for the fact that you have to call like ten different backend services, and you know you haven't got your lovely unified GraphQL layer in there. Yeah. So you sort of force to use these workarounds. I. Yeah, I have a strong opinion on it. But I thought it was interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll leave it there, and I think we'll we'll carry on tomorrow, and we'll give it a uh, you know you you have good days of coding and bad days, and this is a difficult one, and um, but we'll hopefully pick it up tomorrow. Okay. Great. Thanks, Mark. Very good. Bye bye. See you soon.